Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is JP and I tour luxury properties on the market all across the world and this right here happens to be another one of them. This week we are in the beautiful city of Arcadia here in California about to tour this impressive modern tropical oasis. This property features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 10,927 square feet of interior space. It was built on a 0.63 acre lot, and this home is currently on the market for $9,580,000. This home has some of the most impressive amenities and features I have ever seen, including this tremendous pool right in front of me, a separated guest house, a movie theater, a private wine room, so many more things. I'm very excited to tour this one for you. But before we start, I wanna say a huge thank you to John, the listing agent, and his team at Harvest Real development for allowing us to come out here and tour his impressive listing for you all to see and now let's go ahead and get started Now beginning our tour on the exterior of this beautiful modern estate, you'll notice that we have a massive grass lot in between your circular driveway so you can enter and exit from either side of the property however you like. I love the landscaping that you have all along that grass area and also the landscaping shown right behind me. I mean, this is pretty incredible if you take a look right over here. And we have enough space to park at least two cars just in front of your front door. Further down that section, that's where we have access into your four car garage. On the exterior of the home, we'll notice a beautiful brick veneer finish along with these columns framing that cantilever design with the nice chandelier displayed right above. And we have this double door access taking us in. And without any further ado, let's head inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry of this gorgeous estate located here in Arcadia, California. And as we're first coming in, we have these luxurious marble floors leading us into one of the most incredible entries I have ever seen. This is very impressive. We have this gorgeous chandelier framing the center of this dual spiral staircase with the wrought iron railing across that entire section, dome details up above on the ceiling, paired well with these Wayne's coating designs on the walls and these wall sconces around. I mean, I just love this so much. This is really incredible. You can also see the size of this grand hallway, which we will be taking just a little bit later. But before we do that, on my right hand side, we have an office and on my left, we have a living space. So let's go ahead and check out the living room first. So we're first coming in here and we'll see that the marble has nicely transitioned into a more darker tone wood floor to make it nice and cozy for you and all of your guests. First coming in here, beautiful chandelier hanging right above me. And this area is framed nicely with this integrated fireplace design. I'm six foot three for reference, and this is almost the same height as me. That is pretty massive. We get tons of natural light into this area, looking out to your motor courts and some nice wall sconces on either side and some more of these incredible wainscoting designs. Crown molding above me, it's pretty crazy. So many details to talk about. Now this area seamlessly flows into your formal dining area, which is currently shown to sit eight of your guests. Another impressive chandelier hanging right above this space. And we'll also see that you have the raised ceiling design up above with the nice LED inlaid strip above. So it really illuminates this space very well. Right here, you'll see that we have several doors taking you out into a side yard, which further leads into your backyard. That backyard is very impressive and we will be seeing it just a little bit later. And we also have this nice convenient door sectioning off the area. On my right, that's where we have the pantry and we further step through. Also go ahead and take a look at those arch designs right above me. I think that is pretty unique. And this space flows seamlessly into your executive kitchen area. And the first thing I wanna show you is, again, the nice chandelier. The light fixtures in this property are very luxurious and I'll make sure to show them all to you. But I mean, I could totally imagine having all of my friends and family mingling in this space, relaxing in my living room and my formal dining area. And of course, in this tremendous kitchen. 
We have the unique stone countertop right here paired well with this natural wooden cabinetry below. And it really pairs well with the white cabinetry on my right hand side. And open this secret door up. We have your nicely paneled refrigeration space designed by Sub-Zero, incredible interior. They never really disappoint with their fridges, but right next to that space, we have your integrated microwave and the oven set up right below that area. It also nicely flows into your informal dining. It's currently shown to sit six of your guests. And while you're relaxing at this space, I mean, you are getting some impressive views of your backyard and of the foliage out there as well. Another nice light fixture right above. As I said, we'll be seeing that throughout the entire property. And you also have some automatic shades which can shade off this area. There's a couple more things in here that I do want to show you. Of course, you can seat two of your guests at the end of this center island and some more of the nice white custom cabinetry really complements the walnut well. And open this up. We have a secret dishwasher that you probably did not know that was there. Some glass paneled cabinetry, picture window views out into your backyard area, massive sink space. We have some more glass paneled cabinetry right here. Close that up. There's also soft closing. And if that was not enough kitchen for you, well, we come inside of here and we have kitchen number two. Beautiful picture window views, massive stainless steel sink, some more of the stone details on the countertops. You have a three burner stove top, integrated hood, and plenty of custom cabinetry. And behind this door, you also have another refrigerator. So I mean, you literally have every appliance possible in that hidden kitchen. So essentially, you don't even need to really use your main one if you wanna keep it clean. Right here, we've got your Wolf Design six burner stove top, completely stainless steel with the integrated hood above What's unique is that you don't have this huge clunky hood. It is actually nicely integrated behind this wooden paneling. So it makes it look nice and seamless and very nice. Wall sconces on either side of that area. Very nice attention to detail. And I also like that subway tile backsplash. Looks really good. We come back through this section and we are back into those incredible marble floors. On my right hand side, we have a laundry space with two appliances and plenty of custom cabinetry, including a sink and we further step through and we look to my left and we have magically just gone through that hallway which i showed you a little bit earlier so that's pretty much the entire left wing of the property and take a look at the size of this hallway i mean this is pretty pretty crazy you can use me for reference so you can see like how far these really are from each other it's impressive Wayne's coating across the entire space like we saw in the entry. You have the raised ceiling right above with those nicely integrated light fixtures. And let's go ahead and take a turn down right over through this section and we'll see some more of those beautiful wall treatments with the Wayne's coating. Nice light fixture above. On my left, that's where we have the elevator access and access to your four car garage, which is under storage. So unfortunately we cannot check that out right now. But Across the hall, we have something else very interesting to show you. So some more of those nice marble floors flow you straight into this impressive powder room. First coming in here, I love the wallpaper design, really adding to the luxuriousness of the rest of the property. And look down here at these hand painted sink designs. I mean, we have never really seen that before, but I think that is really impressive. Even like the metallic details over here on that faucet. I mean, we never really see these types of designs on things. It's usually very basic. So to see this level of detail is very, very nice. Above me, we have a chandelier with some more crown molding around that space. It's impressive. It's very impressive. But again, What's more impressive is this hallway. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Like I get really excited when I see this type of stuff. I wanna go ahead and take you down through this section. So not to confuse anybody, that's where we just came out of. That is the kitchen and that space flows you back over through this section. And on my right, we have this massive glass paneled wrought iron door taking you into your wine bottle storage area. You can probably store hundreds of your favorite bottles of wine in there. And it is also temperature controlled. You have a little thermostat inside of there. Very handy. And you can see that this space opens up seamlessly into your family room. Now, first coming in here, I see the impressive coffered ceiling designs with that chandelier framing this area. We also get tons of natural light from these doors further taking us out into the modern tropical backyard, which we'll see a little bit later. So make sure to stick around for that because it's pretty crazy. Now, what's great about this living room is the fact that you really have this ensuite bar at this area. So it's completely ideal for entertaining. You'll see right here that we can stage a couple of chairs and have your guests sitting up at this area. And let's go ahead and take a look at the behind the scenes of that space. Again, I love these arch designs right here. Very, very unique detail. 
Now coming through here, we'll see that we have the interior design of the bar with that beautiful dark natural wooden cabinetry. And of course, you can completely serve all of your guests who are sitting at this area. It's so ideal. I mean, just imagine having some friends back here messing around, making some drinks, and then you have your entire family sitting on this massive couch. And let's just take a second to show you how huge this couch is. I mean, I would not be surprised if you can probably sit like 15 people on this couch, like almost two people per cushion. That's something I haven't really seen, but I mean, that's huge. This is such a spacious area, tons of natural light, as I said. I mean, that backyard is so splendid. We'll check it out a little bit later. We have some more of these arch designs further taking us into this hallway. This actually takes us back out to the main entry, but I wanna take you down over through here. And we're further stepping through this area and we have the movie theater. The movie theater is nicely carpeted and you have seating for 11 people. So you and 10 of your bestest friends can relax in here and have one of the best movie nights of your entire life. And if you wanna come in here by yourself and play Fortnite or video games on this screen too, I mean, you could absolutely do that. Not to mention we have wall sconces lining this entire movie theater. So it really gives you that traditional movie theater feel that you have when you go to the actual movies. Beautiful wainscoting and crown molding designs across this area. I mean, I've said it a lot, but this room is really impressive and it blows me away. It's crazy. And we come back through this section. And the other thing that I really like about this property in particular is that we're gonna be seeing a lot of these exaggerated and dramatic hallways taking us into certain rooms. So as we are walking through one right now, you can see that this opens up from these French doors into a very spacious bedroom suite. First coming in, you've got that chandelier framing the center of this room, tons of natural light, looking out into your guest house, which we will be seeing in just a second after the backyard, but we get tons of natural light in here. And before we check out the ensuite bathroom, I want to take you inside of here really quickly. You have that beautiful walk-in closet space with all of the built-ins and that glass paneled cabinetry. Now follow me down right over through this section. Picture window views. I mean, you can see your pool. You can wave hello to your guests there if you like. Now follow me down through here. We have the ensuite bathroom and it kind of looks like a primary bathroom. I mean, the amount of space that you have inside of this section is pretty overwhelming to me. I mean, you have that double vanity setup and a third vanity actually right over here too. So wash your hands at both and get ready right here. I mean, again, it looks like we're in a primary about how spacious this is. This is pretty insane. We have all of the wall sconces lining this side of the wall. We've got the built-in bathtub and we also have glass enclosed walk-in shower right here. And did I mention, we also have those marble details down below me as well. Very nice attention to detail and the fact that this is so spacious, it really makes it feel like you can have a couple of guests staying in this room just alone. Now let's follow this hallway back through. And before we go back through that section, we actually have another bedroom right over here. So follow me down right over here and very spacious bedroom. You have the closet space over there and we also have an ensuite bathroom. Nice stone designs on the vanity, glass enclosed shower, which does double as a bathtub. And overall, again, it really checks all the boxes. You've got plenty of space in here. And again, some more of those dramatic hallways further leading us back into an even more spacious hallway. Again, I love those arch designs that we have been seeing throughout the property. It looks really, really good. And that pretty much wraps up our tour for this entire first floor. But follow me back through the entry. We actually have one more room to show you and that will be the office, which I saw in the beginning of the video. And take a look at how massive this is. I mean, I've said it before, you know how tall I am and you can see, I mean, if you pan up how huge this is, I mean, this is breathtaking when you come in this property. It's very overwhelming, the size of this, but it's not a very confusing floor plan, which is very good. Now we're coming through here and this is where we have your executive office space. You have the natural wooden tones lining the entire room, paired on the coffered ceiling right above me as well. Nice light fixture right above, tons of natural light, and it also looks out to your front yard, so if you have all of your supercars and or hypercars out there, you know, while you're working in here, it's definitely a great way to stay motivated. Now that wraps up our tour of the entire first floor. Now we have to check out that backyard. Let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, everyone. So now we are out here in the absolutely gorgeous backyard 
first coming out, I am getting views of the palm trees, of the hot tub, of the pool, and more importantly, this beautiful garden space. All of the roses and the impressive plant life makes this space look so luxurious. And something else very interesting is that if you follow me down right over through that section, you can actually see that it further leads us into a private fountain area with some more nice landscaping. I think that area is really nice and I think we should see it more in a lot of properties. We don't see it too often and I think it's great. But again, amazing landscaping all throughout and you also have the super tall plant life offering plenty of privacy. And you come down with me through this section, we have an impressive outdoor kitchen area. We've got the built-in barbecue stainless steel with some storage areas and you also have a built-in sink design right over here. While you're washing dishes or washing your hands, you were getting views of the pool, the palm trees, and all of your guests just relaxing, having a great time. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, I swear, and it's like a paradise out here. It's very, very beautiful. Now, I wanna go ahead and take you back down through this area. We have a nice outdoor seating section with some more impressive plant life all around, palm trees, hot tub, I mean, Take a look at the size of this hot tub really quickly. Follow me down here. I mean, this is huge. My community pool hot tub is not as large as this one. So that's how you know you were getting, I mean, the most out of this backyard. Not to mention, I'm gonna be careful not to fall in, but I mean, this pool is very, very spacious. You can see that it is actually very deep on this side. This is impressive. Imagine doing backflips from this area into your super deep pool, I mean, this really is an entertainer's paradise and I would really never get bored at this space. But again, I also wanted to mention you have the massive plant life. So none of your neighbors can ever see into this space. You were completely private and sectioned off out here at this backyard. Now we have these steps taking us down right over here. Follow me down. You'll see right here, we have some stage pool chairs with some more tremendous views of your pool. I mean, how incredible does that look? That is just, I'm at a loss for words, that's really crazy. I love this, this whole backyard in general, complemented by the amazing architecture of your property. It does not get much better than this, I promise you. Now, follow me back down through here. This is where we have a private walkway, further taking you back out to the motor court. And I mentioned it earlier, we gotta check out that guest house. So coming inside of here, we've got beautiful marble floors across this entire space, vaulted ceiling above me, built-in fireplace, we have a kitchenette with a sink over there, and you can further follow me through, and we have a nice ensuite bathroom with a beautiful vanity design right here, and to my left, that's where we have the glass enclosed shower, and then we open this up, and we have magically reappeared back through that private walkway, and that pretty much wraps up our tour for this entire backyard. Follow me back inside, and let's go ahead and check out floor number two. All right, everyone, so now we've just made it up to floor number two of this incredible estate located here in Arcadia, California. Now, as we first come up to this enlarged landing, go ahead and take a look at the view that you have of this light fixture. This is an angle that we have yet to see, but this is truly remarkable. And as I mentioned earlier, I am just such a big fan of all of this wrought iron railing across the entire entry. You can say hello to all of your guests coming in and out of your front door. This space is truly remarkable. On my right hand side, this is where we have the elevator access and I wanna take you down right over through this section and these double doors open up into a bedroom that is currently staged as a gym area. This bedroom is extremely spacious and it gets a ton of natural light with that picture window looking out to the foliage. You have a built-in ceiling fan, mounted flat screen TV, and what's very unique about this bedroom is that you actually come in here and where you would normally have the closet, it has actually been constructed into a sauna, which is really impressive. We don't really see these types of saunas too often in property tours, but when I see them, I think it's the coolest thing ever. And something else very unique, if you take a look at this, you have the street name of the property embroidered on this nice little piece of cloth. Very interesting, we don't really see stuff like that too often, but this has never been used, it smells incredible, fresh cedar wood inside of here, I'm really here for it. Now, we have mirrors across this entire side of the wall, and I wanna take you down over through this section, and this area is nicely equipped with an ensuite bathroom. We first come in here and we have the nice stone design over here on the countertop, you've got the custom cabinetry displayed right below, 
massive mirror with the wall sconces mounted on it and you have this glass enclosed walk-in shower with the natural light coming in from that window right above and that pretty much wraps our tour for this room so let's go ahead and head back down through the hallway again the views of the chandelier are so impressive i'm a very big fan of that now follow me down this area and this is something very interesting so as we're about to enter this bedroom take a look this is where the door actually seals off this dramatic hallway further leading you into the bedroom before we check that out i want to take you inside of here and this is the walk-in closet space for this bedroom it's absolutely massive all of your necessary built-ins inside of here and let's continue on through on my right hand side that's where we have the ensuite bathroom again some more incredible stone designs and you got the glass enclosed shower and if you don't want to take a shower in this room i mean you got the bathtub equipped right next to it which is a really unique feature that we don't see too often. I like the fact that they separated these two as well. They didn't just combine it into a shower. That's really cool. Massive mirror, natural light, checks all the boxes for sure. And again, as I mentioned, you have this really dramatic hallway further leading you into another bedroom. Beautiful chandelier above me, tons of natural lights, and you also get the views of your front yard. Very cool very spacious room and also take a look at this so we got the crown molding lining the perimeter of the ceiling and these really nice arch details further taking you back through this hallway i think it's really cool now let's continue back down through this section and over here we're also going to notice some more of those beautiful arch designs really dramatic and really adding a nice element of character to this property massive landing as i mentioned and we got some more of the wainscoting here and let's go ahead and take a left hand turn and this space opens up into another bedroom with the light fixture hanging right above. It's not staged with any furniture, but it is very spacious and the possibilities for it truly are endless. Now, we come down here through this section and this is going to be your ensuite bathroom. We come in, we got the wall sconces mounted onto the mirror, nice vanity setup, and you also have the glass enclosed walk-in shower, nice stone designs and the natural light from that window. This room also has a walk-in closet right over there, all your necessary built-ins, and let's continue down over through this area, and just like the last room that we saw, this door is gonna be taking you back down through a dramatic hallway. On my left, we have the walk-in closet. We come back down through, and this is where we have the ensuite bathroom for this bedroom, and it's gonna be pretty similar to the last one we saw. You've got the bathtub, the shower, and the beautiful vanity, along with that natural light. Now we come back down through here and this further takes us into yet another bedroom with some more natural light and more views of your front yard in the distance. Very spacious and I could totally imagine having a desk in here, a seating area and a bed because that's how large it really is. Now again, I love the dramatic hallways leading you into this space. It's very grand and it's something we really just don't see too often. I like that a lot. And now that almost wraps up our tour for this upper floor, but these double doors are going to take us into the best room of the property. It's going to be the primary suite. Take a look at the wall sconces that you have right here when you first come in. I mean, so luxurious, so grand. Now, follow me in through here. We'll notice right away, complete change of the vibe over here on the second floor. We see the detailed marble floors across this entire section. Some more of the arch details with the crown molding, raised ceiling, wainscoting all along the walls, and then it transitions into a cozy hardwood floor and we have just magically appeared into the massive primary bedroom suite. Now the first detail that I notice when I walk in here is this incredible seating area staged right in front of your king size bed. And what's interesting about this room in particular is that you can see we still have so much unused space in the area. Usually these two things alone would fill up the entire primary, but you have so much more square footage in this room that is really impressive. And again, it's something that most primary suites just do not have. We'll see some more of the incredible crown molding details lining the perimeter of the ceiling, along with the wall treatments as well. I think it looks really nice. And this space also has an ensuite balcony. We haven't seen that yet in the property, but I wanna go ahead and show you. So follow me outside right over here. It is an incredibly spacious balcony. I can imagine at least four sets of seating areas. It's enclosed with this beautiful wrought iron railing like the one we saw on the stairs. And then you were getting those views of your beautiful modern tropical backyard. It does not get much better than this. This is beautiful. It's so private and serene and tranquil. I love this so much. The palm trees, I mean, it's incredible. 
Now follow me back inside of here again. As I said, this is so huge. I probably look pretty tiny inside of this room. It's impressive. Now we'll see that we have that transition back into the nice marble detailed floors. And before we check out the primary bathroom, let's just go ahead and check this space out. So we're back to the hardwood floors. And as you can see, we have just entered the primary closet and right above we got the chandelier illuminating this entire space. You have all of your built-in cabinetry and it's in a nice white finish. It's very bright inside of here. If I have all of my clothes hanging or my shoes, I can definitely see everything very clearly even though there's no natural light, which is very cool. Now in the center, we have this massive island, nice little seating area right here too, if you wanna put on your shoes, but you don't wanna do it while you're standing up, obviously. I mean, this is so convenient to have inside of a closet. And of course, nice glass paneled cabinetry across the entire space. You got the downward slope shelving for all of your shoes. And we further come back, some more glass paneled cabinetry spaces, I mean, it's perfect. What more could you really ask for? This is exactly what you need for a primary closet. Beautiful. Now, follow me back down over through this section. Also, we have the double door access taking you inside of here. Now, come back through this section. We got some more of the marble floors further leading us into the primary bathroom. This is really, really nice. I'm a very big fan of this. Of course, first walking in, beautiful chandelier framing the center of this room with some more of the crown molding details around the perimeter of that space. It's also nicely raised up as well. And of course, again, it illuminates this entire room. And on either side of me, we have vanity setups. The one on my right does not contain a sink. However, it's perfect for getting ready before work or for a large event or whatever you might be doing because maybe you wanna put on your makeup before you go here or fix your hair, but no sink in the way. We got some nice wall sconces on either side of this massive mirror. I mean, just go ahead and take a look at the size of this and the fact that it curves upward as well, I think is really cool. And on my left-hand side, right over here, we've got your double vanity setup with a massive mirror mounted on the wall. You have these incredible marble details on the countertop and that custom wooden cabinetry. They're very detailed as well. And then close them up. Of course, they're all soft closing. Top of the line luxury. Further stepping through, we've got the incredible tub design right here, clad with some more of those marble details. And you can actually raise that shade up, giving you views of your modern tropical backyard space. You also have some glass shelving on either side of this area as well. Maybe you wanna take a bath and have a candle on one of those shelves, you can absolutely do that. Now, let's further continue down because there's a couple more things in this space. On my right hand side, this is where we have the water closet and right behind me, very, very cool. Come inside of here, we got your massive walk-in shower space, marble details all around the area, on the floors, on the bench, on the walls, and of course clad up above on the ceiling as well. And I love that unique artistic marble design that you have extending up to the ceiling right in front of me. That's something rare that you don't see too often. And again, the attention to detail across this entire property is very unique and it's something that you really don't see often. So when we stumble across these types of properties, it makes me really excited because the value for your money in this area and for this property is truly remarkable. Again, beautiful, beautiful primary suite. That's where we have the exit back to the main area, but we have another section for this grand suite. So we come in here and you have a nice private seating area. I also like the fact that this room is conveniently sectioned off from the main primary. You can also make this a home office as well because it does have the door. That's a good tax write off. But anyways, beautiful wainscoting all around the walls. You have the raised ceiling design above me with that chandelier framing the center of this room. More natural light looking out to your incredible backyard because if you stage this area as an office and you're working all day, that is your motivation to stay working hard. I think that's beautiful. And one more thing I forgot to mention, this tremendous fireplace, go ahead and take a look at that. You have these beautiful hand carved details made out of wood right here. And I'm six foot three for reference and take a look at the size of this. I mean, that's pretty crazy. You have some wall sconces on either side of this area as well. And I mean, office or not, even if it's still a stage seating area, I think it's really tremendous. Have some friends up here. I mean, it's pretty crazy, but again, this grand suite is remarkable. It takes up like half the upstairs, really. It's crazy. Now let's come back down through, over through this section and believe it or not, unfortunately that is going to wrap up our tour. I say unfortunately because I wish we could stay here longer, but I hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I did because this one was truly, truly incredible. If you stuck around this far, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, 
comment down below if you haven't already and make sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new tour because the next one may be just as nice as this one. All right, I'll see you in the next one.